I think there are a lot of reasons to be optimistic. I feel good about the pitching. I feel great about the hitting. I feel good about the organization, about the fact that so many players came early this year and uh, there seems to be a focus um, that, is, that has to make you feel good at this point. John, in, in light of the uh, amount of money being spent on international players and, and what the Red Sox have just done, would you be comfortable with some sort of international draft down the road? It's really not for me to determine to comment on that, I, that's something baseball has, I think, wanted for a long time. Uh, it hasn't happened for various reasons. We'll see. We'll see what happens <coughs> in the future. But I don't have a problem with the current, uh, with it currently. But um, you know, if if, there, if a draft comes about, I think there are a lot of people in baseball who would really like a draft, uh, and I don't. I think we would necessarily oppose it. So. The Wall Street Journal today had a story like saying baseball may uh, go back to 154 game schedule. Your thoughts on that? I and mean, is that a reality? I haven't seen that. Uh, it's been discussed over the last five or six years. Um, <coughs> I can't really comment. John, how do you assess the level of talent uh, in the organization, up and down the organization, relative to the years that you've been here? I think we're as strong throughout the organization as we've ever been. Um, at certain times, you might say we had more, uh, we might have had greater depth, but Depth in the minor leagues doesn't really, sometimes doesn't translate that well into the major leagues. What you, what you need are, are, are real, what you would call A and B type players. And, and we have a lot of A players in the minor leagues these days, uh, people that should make it to the majors. So I think we're in as good a shape as we've ever been in, in that regard. And uh, if anything, we've probably rushed some of our players a, a little bit because the, the difference between double A and triple A baseball and major leagues is, has never been greater. So um, uh, you have to feel good about not only the major league camp but the minor league camp. John, John how, good, how good do you feel <clears throat> about the way you guys spend money now? Not just how much but the way you do and, and, and the way Ben is um, operating under his budget. I think we're we're, we're more discerning than ever, um, despite what people might write this week. Um, high ceiling players, you have to take risks on, but especially young players. Uh, but I think we're more discerning, especially with with uh, regard to free agents. And, 30-year-old free agents and above. John, are there any tweaks in the ownership in terms of upper management this season? No. Last year, uh, Mike Gordon was named president of FSG, uh, but not in the Red Sox. And I, I read those ridiculous stories, or that ridiculous story, I think Dan wrote about, <laughs> about <laughs> it ridiculous in this sense that, that um, that there's some sort of power struggle between <coughs> Mike and Larry. Uh, nothing can be further from the truth. There's never, there's never been, uh, feeding back. Here. There's never been a uh, any. There's never been a that I know of uh, a word sp spoken in that regard in, within ownership or by Larry. Uh, Mike is is much 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 more involved with Liverpool, and uh, he gets involved with the Red Sox with regard to financial decisions because he's a tremendous financial mind. But uh, there's no there's no power struggle. He said a couple of years ago on the radio interview. He said Larry Lucchino runs the Red Sox. I mean, do, you, do you still feel that way? Is that still true? Or? 
I think it's uh, at, if you were to ask anybody in the organization, including over the off season, that has been remains the case. He is uh, he's a he's a pedal to the metal guy, and uh, you you know he is a uh, uh, you can call him a micromanager. Uh, he's involved in every decision, and I, and I say micromanager because. Jack Welch once said to me that micromanaging is highly underrated as a, uh, as a management tool. And so th there's, th there's no doubt that Larry is in charge and continues to be in charge. Any assert, you can ask anybody in the Red Sox. I'd be surprised if anybody would, would doubt that or say that. Steve wrote a story last week about maybe using the new Olympic Stadium as a new home for the Red Sox. Any thoughts on that possibility down the road? That uh, a new home for the Red Sox? Uh, well, we, you know, we invested, Olympic. Johnny, we, we invested a quarter of a billion dollars in Fenway <coughs> Park for a good reason. We're, I, that's irreplaceable as far as we're concerned. So. I've, I've read a lot of things about the Olympics. Some of them surprising. That would be really surprising. But you did say that you did say that last year during this very session that Fenway is an expiration date, and I think you used the term 30 years. At least 30 years, hopefully 50 years. But, but um, I've seen a lot of Olympic stadiums that have been transformed into soccer stadiums and baseball fields, and, and it worked fairly well. In, Atlanta, um, but I just don't. There's no appetite for us to move. John, when you talk about being more discerning, particularly in regard to signing free agents thirty and above, did, does Lester fall into that category? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, because there was a there was a limit with Lester that, that you guys were willing to go right. Facetious, but yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, at yeah. some point. At, at, at some point, there's a, we went as far as we thought we should go, and, and we've discussed it though. So, but I don't have anything more to say on, on that. When you talk about being concerning about the money and like getting ahead of the, the prime talent with the Cuban players, does it make you uneasy at all though? Because it, it, Potentially, it's a, over 130 million dollars invested in two guys who have played less than a month. The majors. It's, does that make you uneasy about it at all? Well, we haven't done this last year. Well, well hypothetically. If, if there's one thing I know, it's until a deal is done, it's not done. So that's there's, there's no deal there. So if it were to happen, would I be uncomfortable? No. We we did an analysis and. You, you take risks with every player. We, we, more and more, we prefer to take risks with younger players than with older players.